got the titties, she got the ass together. <laughs> Bad bitches. Yeah. Hell no. Here we go with the delirium. Welcome back. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It's your party. Hey. Hey. I ain't got no insurance. Bye, Felicia. Hey. I'm sure that's not the last time I kissed your clip. Made you close your eyes and say, holy shit. Captain of the clip is what you said. Talking about how I am the best. Yeah, you, you know you love this stuff. Cause I was licking on your bean. All of a sudden, your coochie barked right at me. I know that last night I heard your coochie talk. I can't believe how loud that thing was. I'm actually really stunned. You said, oh no. Fuck yeah, baby. Get paid. I heard your coochie talk. If each body counted for one dollar, what could you buy with your body count? Probably a good night stay at the Ritz Carlton. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. At the what? At the Ritz Carlton. I, I understand if you're not familiar. No, I'm just kidding. Completely, absolutely worthless. The Ritz Carlton. How much does that run a night? I'm not familiar. Familiarize me. Maybe a good thou. Why does it matter to you, though? Why is dating so hard? Social media got these chicks thinking that they got something they don't have. So they only they only fuck with niggas who got bread. Jersey. And then turn around and be mad Jersey. when them type of dudes who got a bunch of money Jersey. want every bitch. Hold up. They charge broke niggas to chill with them. But you want to deal with dudes who don't have no opinion. That's why you see a lot of these bad chicks with these goofy ass, soft ass niggas who ain't gonna challenge them on nothing. We ain't gonna ask them no questions. Any man that got his own shit taken care of, don't need their money, don't need their pussy. They don't wanna deal with a nigga like that. They want a nigga that they can talk to crazy and disrespect them because they don't want no structure. They scared of real men, you feel me? Because a real man ain't gonna let them talk crazy and do all that goofy dumb shit. So, modern day men are more feminine and all the more than ever. Definitely. These girls really are searching for a beta with the paycheck. Watch out. Boys, this is how you keep a healthy relationship with your girlfriend. It's the little things, like opening the door for them. It's all it takes. Guys, I got about three seconds here. Never get a girlfriend, never get married. They're gonna ruin your fucking life and take all your money. Oh shit, what a beautiful day. What were you doing out there? Oh, just checking my tire pressure. Oh. Could I possibly be? Let's see. I'm overwhelmed. Why? Because I'm trying to clean the kitchen because it's a disaster. Cleaning, I realize I'm hungry. So I'm going to make me some carrot juice. Well, start to make my carrot juice. But I can't make my carrot juice because I have no classes that are clean. Well, I'm going to load these in the dishwasher. But when I go to unload the dishwasher, it's clean and full. So now I have to unload it. But then I notice some new clothes that we got for Ember that haven't been put away. Stop it. Get some help. So then I go to put them away. Then I realize her room's a disaster. So then I start to clean up some clothes and put them away. In the closet, I realize, oh yeah, their tennis shoes are destroyed and I need to buy new tennis shoes for school that starts on Tuesday. So then I come to the kitchen and I need to make a list. But wait, I have no pen. So then I'm just going to put it in my phone so that I don't forget it. Oh wait, when I open my phone, I get an email from my management company about a partnership I got to do. Well, in order to record a partnership, I got to put eyelashes on because I don't want to look like a naked mole rat. But wait, I want to shower and I can't shower and get my eyelashes wet, so I got to shower first. If I can't shower first, because I want to dye my hair. <laughs> but wait, there's more. And I can't dye my hair after the shower because then I'm taking two showers, one after another. Hey, how about this? How about I make your carrot juice, you go take a nap, <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. How many of you out there can solve all these pathetic problems in about an hour or less when you're overwhelmed by a dirty room? 
What a convenient and privileged life to have. Every single time you sleep with a man, we are creating pair bonds exactly. in the brain that yes. are connecting yes. us to yes. those people. And then, How you can I'm disagree just, yeah, with yeah, science and psychology. I don't pair bond with every single person but, I sleep with. You are really dumb. For real. So you can say, like, I'm not pair bonding, but that's just not reality and that's not yeah. scientific. So I'm just delusional. I just like live my yeah, life. I didn't sure. say you were delusional. So every I'm just guy that I sleep <laughs> with, I'm just in love with. That's no, we didn't say you were in love with. I said that there's a psychological bond, bond no. that there is a bond in your brain that you are creating with that person that you have yes. an intimate relationship yeah. with. Yeah. That is psychological. That is scientific. It's irrefutable mm -hmm. evidence <laughs> on the table. At the end of the day, I mean, you said you slept with 30 people. You have a pair bonded with in your all brain 30, with people? 30 people. Yes, you're creating oh also the inability to have a long lasting relationship because the more people that you sleep with and when it's just a hookup you're training psychologically your brain that that is more acceptable and okay than being in a long-term relationship a female tactic when they're arguing is to disagree so let us disagree with science and then that just makes science wrong look out for it <laughs> oh shoot mommy i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry shoot mommy are you good are you good? Are you good? My mom! I... When some, like, some of us are really heartless because I was, like, looking at um, a post and it was like, what's your biggest ick? And I'm, like, expecting, like, oh, like, his butt crack shares, um, you know, he coughs really loud, he burps all the time, um, you know, the usual. But you know what I see instead? I literally see this. Um, yeah, one time a shark attacked us. A shark was swimming and it attacked us. And I literally lost feelings because he started screaming and crying. Like, what man does that? And I'm like, oh. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, his mom was taking her last breath and he screamed out mommy. And it was just so icky. And I'm like, oh, icky. That was icky. He flew off a motorcycle and he looked like a starfish in the air and I really just couldn't see myself having kids with him anymore. You understand this is why we, we have periods? You understand? This is why we suffer every single month? Do you understand this is why we suffer? It's because it's like this. Meanwhile, there's guys out there putting up with five kids, cheating, lying, all sorts of BS. This chick wouldn't stay with you if you look like a starfish off a motorcycle. Is it gay to date a trans woman? Hell yeah! What in the hell do you mean? Hell yeah! You were born a man. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, yeah. For sure, that's gay as shit. Don't try to yeah. cancel me on some trans shit, but like, it's pretty sus. Yeah. Why? This is a good question. That's a really good question. I know. I mean, I don't know, because they have a dick? No. I mean, it's like whatever you like, man. Like, I don't know. It's not gay. No. It's not gay. If you're into it, you're into it. We're from Seattle, so like we're about that. Huh? That's gay. A dick's a dick. Ooh, that's a good question. That's what I said. <laughs> um, depends on how hot she is. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Would you date a trans woman? Probably yeah, she not. She was hot. How come? I couldn't get past the dick. So it's got cock and balls. Yes. Is it gay you're dating? Yes. For me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Would you date a trans woman? No. What if they say, I'm, I'm a woman? No. Still no? No. For, no. I've heard some trans people talk about their female penises. What are your thoughts on that terminology? Trans people with female penises? Well, men who say that they're women and then they say they have a female penis now because they say they're a woman now. Oh, nah. That's a, that's a dick. You don't believe it's like a female dick? No. What is this? Is there such a thing as a female dick? Repent and believe in the gospel. Well, it's good to see that some people have sense left in 2023, but it's also pretty fucked up that this is a real conversation out there somewhere. Hang in there, guys. Stay logical. This is fucking insane. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got for you today. You know, we got a couple of celebrity drama situations going on, it seems like, and one of them's with Logan Paul and his uh, fiance, and it turns out that she's a little bit looser than everyone might have expected. At the end of the day, the one thing I want to talk about is they had gone on 
the podcast and they were talking back and forth. And when we're looking for girls of purity, they put us in a position where we have to wait because they've been waiting the whole time, things like that. But in Logan's situation, you can kind of see what happened is that he read the situation wrong. And what she did was she made him wait, but she made him wait out of compliance. And that's one thing you really got to watch out for with the girls. The girls that have been around know how to pretend like they're pure. And they're not actually all that good at it in the long run. And they will let it slip up around their friends and stuff like that. Yeah, I made him wait. He waited for me, stuff like that. Because they're a ratchet and they're making you comply with them. And it's causing a power dynamic where they don't respect you properly. And you really got to watch out for that. As to where the other girls are just like shy, they're not used to getting attention, and maybe they're religious, so they've held on to it, things like that. So you need to be able to tell the difference between a girl that's pure and making you wait versus a girl that's a complete hoe and she's making you comply and wait for a period of time. Because if you find yourself in that position, you're already screwed. All right, guys, what do you think about what's going on with Logan Paul and, uh, you know, letting a girl think that you're complying to wait for, let me know what you think. All right, guys. I always appreciate you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to see you on the next one.